morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends, this morning the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Jerome, a great scholar of scriptures uh, of the Church. We ask the Lord to have each one of us to appreciate the work of his translation to the church, particularly the Latin translation. That is the work of St. Jerome for 30 years. Let us acknowledge our shortcomings before the Lord and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, Grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. <clears throat> Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has withstood him and remained unscathed. He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say to him, nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but rather should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let my prayer come out come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness? 
or your justice in the land of oblivion. But I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. have dens and birds of the sky have nests but the son of man has nowhere to rest his head and to another he said follow me but he replied Lord let me go first and bury my father but he answered him let the dead bury their dead but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God and another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, the gospel today really reminds me of the day, the first day that I tried to have a job interview. I got the job and worked for a while. That is a good job, and so many of you might have that interview as well to try to get the first job, the job that you thought about, you worked hard for it. Uh, got the job, worked hard for a number of years and were able to support the people around me, your loved ones as well. You go to work in the morning and then in the evening you go home and you support your loved ones with the source of salary you get. That is how the world operates. This is how human and the world really works. But for the disciples of God, my dear friends, Jesus requires a complete surrender in order to apply for being a disciple of God. In other words, to work for the vineyard of God, then there must be a complete surrender to the will of the Father, even to the point of cutting all the ties that we have built in this life including our family members, our loved ones. And that's what Jesus is saying. No one is fitting to be my disciple. If he or she looks back and say, Lord, let me take care of my dad or my mom or my loved one first, then I will follow you. Being the disciple of God requires a total heart, a total surrender to God, totally depends on the providence of God wherever he leads us, wherever he instructs us to go. That is, that is what it means to be a disciple, a follower of Christ Jesus. St. Jerome, a rich kid, he was born in a rich pagan family squandered his youth, squandered all kind of the money that perhaps he got from his family. 
But one day he was converted to God. And upon his conversion, he entered the seminary, studied theology, and was ordained as a priest. He was the secretary of Pope Damasus, and upon the instruction of the Pope, he was commissioned to revise the Latin text of the Gospel, known as the Vulgate Translation. That is the work of his 30 years, working constantly. And he has written a number of uh, scriptural commentaries, known as St. Jerome commentaries, that helps the faithful or even scholars of scriptures to read, to reflect, that's inspired them. So my dear friends, each one of us has a past, and each one of us has future in God as well. In God, we trust. In God, he gives us a future. In God, we believe that by following him, by being his disciples, that he is going to reward us. And you know, and I know, and our faith, our belief, our creed says so, that our reward is to forever enjoy the fullness of God's glory, the victory of Christ upon that cross. So let us together thank God for giving us a great saint, a great scholar of scripture, St. Jerome, which we are celebrating this morning, this day. We ask God to help us out, to hold on to the words of God, to hold on to the words of the scripture, to hold on to the person of Jesus. Because the scripture is not merely a text, that is a person, the person of Jesus. Let us together ask the Lord to help us out in our journey of faith, to hold on to him, and to believe with our whole heart to his promise. Let us stand as we offer our prayers and petition to our mighty King, asking the Lord to hear our pleas. Aware of God's presence with us, we turn to him in prayer for our own needs and the needs of others. For the church, that all her members may bear witness to the saving power of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in government, that they may protect the least among us, especially the most vulnerable and those who are marginalized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For outcasts, foreigners, and refugees, that they will always find a welcome in our midst, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been blessed with an abundance of good things, that they may open their hands and their hearts to the poor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own parish community, that we will constantly give witness to the message of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick or who suffer in any way, that they will be comforted. Lord, in your mercy, we hear pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, listen to the prayer of your family. And in you we trust, and we entrust our lives and the lives of our loved ones into your loving care. And help us to be a good followers of your Son, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask all these prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and give her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, keep us safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. These holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating Saint Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life that is everlasting. We ask this through Christ. Our Lord, my dear friends, our parish has a new deacon, Deacon Armando. He is here with us today to help our community as well. So we thank you, Deacon Armando, for following the will of God the Father to call him to serve in the position as a deacon. So we rejoice on your ordination, and we congratulate you. Thank you, Father. Um, have a blessed day. Okay. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go, Go in peace. Thanks be to God.